Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are really excited today to show you another place. We are in Italy today, the country of the urban exploring, the golden crown. And uh, we are today standing in a secondary school that used to be uh, for music, to teach and educate children on music. It's a really cool place. There are a lot of beautiful rooms left behind. We're gonna show you what a secondary school in Italy was like and how it compares to a Belgian school because we have also filmed some Belgian schools. So yeah, let's hop inside of the building. Uh, show you all the classrooms, show you where the teachers would hang out. And let's go through it. Stay away first off here. Whoa, I want to go in here, Jody. This looks like a cave. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Why would they have wine bottles left behind? I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah, inside of a school. Yeah, it, uh, Italy is also known for its wines and everything, but... Yeah, even more there in the back. Yeah, come first have a look over here. This looks like a little cave. cave. It's, oh. it's like a storage place for wine. No way. But all these bottles are empty, of course. Or is this champagne? No, this is for red wine, to my knowledge. Damn. That's really cool. The first thing that we would love to show off inside of the school is, yeah, in Italy, around, yeah, nowadays people are not that religious anymore, but around the 1950s, 1960s, this was one of the most religious countries in the world. Of course, you have the Vatican and everything in Italy. So it's, it's commonplace that these people are very religious. And so for the children inside of the school, they built a private church so they could educate them on religion and on God and Christianity. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, the children, uh, children would come here every day in the morning uh, to do a little prayer before they start their school day. Look at the tint and windows and everything, Johnny. Yeah. It's pretty special. Wow. Even the organ. Oh yeah, the organ here in the back. So they would play a little music, a um, little music for the children, Christian music, and then they could pray. Maybe they read a little bit from the Bible. See up there is that the Ark from Noah, Johnny. Yeah, there are no animals on there. <laughs> Here on the side is even a confession booth. So if the children were bad inside of the classrooms, they had to come here and tell uh, the priest what they did wrong. The door is locked? Yeah, that's kind of locked. Yeah, this one is open. Oh yeah. Oh, here they would sit. Yes. Maybe on their knees over there. Let me try it out. A lot of glass in here, but I think they would sit like this and they would tell what they did wrong. <laughs> wow. Also like the altar, let's take a close look at that. It's not a typical altar, it's kind of different from the ones we see inside of churches. People have trashed it a little bit. You can imagine there would be a marble plate on top of here. Then the priest would stand there in the morning in front of the children and uh, read from the Bible. Let's go further into the school and let's see what we can find else. Okay, we just made it to the top floor of the school and we found a pretty sick classroom over here. I was like, whoa, this is incredible. All the school benches left behind. This is where the children would be, get uh, educated. You can see these little holes here on the table, Johnny. I'll let you guess what they are for. They were for the ink. Correct. With the feathers. Yeah, but not with the feathers, but in the later, yeah, at first they had the feathers, but then afterwards they had the steel pens. So the children would have a little pot of ink inside of here and uh, they would take the ink right. And that's how they did it. It's crazy, right? Yeah, underneath they could put, or over here they could put their books. This one doesn't have a storage. This one has a storage. Yeah. That's so nice. 
Okay, children, today we are going to learn about math, your favorite subject. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> Let's go further. Oh my gosh, I think this is a boarding school, Jordi. You see there in the back there are uh, beds, so the children would stay here all week. They didn't go home. They would be in this school all week long. Well, what do we have over here? Let's first check out this room. No way. No way. Isn't this cool? This is to, yeah, this looks like a little, little office, a little doctor's place for the children to measure them and check up on their health and everything. There's a measurement stick, see how high they were. Asperizer. The bench is so nice. It's crazy how this is all left behind. I don't believe that the school has been abandoned since the 2000s. I think it's abandoned for longer. Yeah, it's some sort of a bottle. It's Italian, so I can't really read it. It's not alcoholic. Ah, do you know? It's, so it's, it's a wine. Oh, yes, it's alcohol, alcoholic. It used to be a wine. Even some medicines. Antiparasito. Antiparasitario. Oh, my Italian is really bad. Okay, let's go further. I was just discussing with Jordi, sometimes we have these discussions midway through the video and then we discuss with each other what we think about the building and just we were talking about if it is really for all the children inside of the school because it's a pretty small uh, room for with beds there are only 12 beds inside of here so it's probably only for the children that were sick at the at that point because in a school like this there would be like three four hundred children at uh, children attending Jody just mentioned also to me that yeah, the rocks on the bed and uh, then we looked up <laughs> the whole roof is coming down this place is decaying fast so probably older than abandoned since 2020 at, uh, around 2000 I, I think it's more abandoned like 30 years and also really like is these little uh, bedside stands that the children had and their books what they studied are inside of here I think this is about history. Oh, and this is about geography, I think. Yeah, in this book they studied about geography. And it's, yeah, it's Venezia, from Venezia. It's uh, the famous place in Italy. So their books are in here, so the children definitely slept here. You can see some pencils and everything on top of here. Some pencils from the children. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Look inside of this one. This stuff is not that interesting, but look at this little bottle over here. This is holy water. I, I thought first that it was from Lourdes, but uh, it's from Banou. And I think that is in France, but I'm not quite sure. There's still some holy water left inside. I'm not gonna open that, that would re <laughs> reveal the spirit inside of it. <laughs> oh, beautiful place. Let's go further, let's go check it out. So we are walking throughout this place, through the hallways and everywhere. But most classrooms are empty and some of them have trash inside of them, like this one. There's one more beautiful classroom that we really want to show afterwards. But uh, yeah, just check it out. The benches are left inside of here. So it's more, maybe more like a chemistry uh, class, electrical class, because you can see all the switches and cables here. Yeah, the children learned about electricity and chemistry. See the flasks and the pipes and everything. And then I want to go one classroom further because that one is really crazy. I don't know what happened there, but I really want to show it. I think there are 40 to 50 classrooms inside of this place. But in this classroom over here, there's a huge pile of thousands and thousands of books. Look at this. Oh my gosh, Charlie, come have a look. These are the children, they are eating. Maybe this, this is in the boarding school. You can see that yeah, is probably a secondary school that we are in today. Wow. Making our way to the top floor. Yeah, presumably the top floor because over there, there are even more floors. Look at that. That's the part that we got to explore after this. This was some sort of attic. 
No, I take my words back. I take my words back. This definitely was a boarding school. Inside of this room, there are hundreds and hundreds of beds. Hundreds, I, I'm exaggerating. Like 40 to 50 beds for the children. Look at this. That's crazy. They would all be together inside of here. Can't go further, Jordi. Walk through it, people get a perception of how the children slept here. They don't have a lot of privacy inside of this place. I could not sleep like this. Yeah, if you're used to it, probably I could, but... At the end here, Jody, there's the toilet. Check that. Let's check that out as well. It's the washroom, the showers over there, and the toilets here. for the boys and they have the stand-up showers and uh, toilets over there you see them a lot in France but sometimes in Italy as well toilet with a hole in the floor yeah. <laughs> I can use them we just went to the basement of this place and yeah with so many children you need enormous washing and drying machines to wash all the clothes and the uniforms the children used to wear I think this is a dryer it's crazy to see at this proportion. <laughs> Charlie, let's walk through this hallway because it looks really creepy. Look over here. Here are all the clothes where to ride. They would be hanged up here. Hundreds and hundreds of uniforms of the children. We just found an incredible classroom. And this used to be the classroom where the children would be educated on music. And uh, yeah, they would develop themselves, develop their own personalities in here, learn about music, about music notes. You can see here on the wall, there are music notes, piano keys down there. I would love to learn piano. I've been saying that for so many times. You can see here the children would sit, they would sing, they would dance, they would do everything in here. See the teacher's desk, sorry. Wow. Music notes and everything. Did you notice that the desk actually is a piano? Is the desk actually a piano? I think it's was it like in the time. Oh, it's maybe converted into a, a desk. Maybe the teacher was sorry, like, oh, it looks something with music. Yeah, something like that. Good point. No school is complete without a huge auditorium. Go inside, Jordi. Show the people. Here, all the children would gather, listen to the principal or to other students talking about their interests. That huge theater up there for plays and everything. Oh wow. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. On every newspaper there is a date, and this date says 1981. That seems like a reasonable date that the school got abandoned. Don't you think? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. reasonable. Mm -hmm. Like 40 years ago. Cool newspaper from Italian. Illustration Iveco. See some sports, some other things on the back. Yeah. This is the auditorium. Maybe this is the logo of the school. Two-headed eagle or something like that. It's really huge. Yeah. But what do you think with so many children? It's true. We climbed like 10 floors up here. We are now at the attic of the place. I'm pretty tired. But up here, everything from the school benches to yeah, all the things that the school needed would be stored. <laughs> I don't know why all these wine uh, bottles are in here. These huge wine carafes. 
they're sitting in these uh, baskets, these woven uh, bamboo baskets, I think. No, it's not bamboo. It's plastic, actually. And some school benches, and they store some school benches up here. Once that were, that were excessive. Yeah, this was a pretty huge place. Let me take a seat down here. And uh, yes, with that said, I want to thank you so much for watching this week's video. This was pretty cool to explore an Italian school. Gives you a perception of how schools are around the world. And uh, yeah, as always, oh, check out our new chairs, bro. Wow on the front, bros of decay on the back. They are down here, available on Teespring. If you buy one, you support us in our mission to explore the whole world and document places that are going to be lost in the future. As always, me and Jody, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and comment and we will see you next week. Bye bye. Love you.